Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's video will be discussing network analysis, chapter number nine, and chapter question 9.5 and 9.6 from Mr. Alexander and Sadiku's book. Straight away to question 9.5, these two signals are given. You have to determine the phase angle between the two and we have to also determine which signal lags the other. Now this is a very simple question and the technique that we'll follow is uh, first of all we have to convert them into same form so either both sine or both cosine. It is preferable to convert both into cosine because from cosine we can directly go to the phase z. Okay, so this is the signal and to convert into cosine, we have to subtract minus 90 from the angle. So this will be equal to 45 cosine and subtract minus 90. And solving this, we get this is the final value in terms of cosine. So this was the first part. And the second part is already in the cosine form. Now, comparing these two, we can get an answer from here that the difference between the two is 30 degrees angle. And this one is more negative than this. Therefore, this is lagging. So we can write that the angle between the two is 30 degree and V1 lags V2. But there's a better way that I feel if we convert this into phasor. And for converting into phasor, we follow this technique that the, if it has Vm cos omega t plus phi, we just write the magnitude Vm and we just write the angle. So this is in phasor form. Phasor is written in capital letters in the book printed form. When we write, we just put a dash over that, then it will represent a phaser. Okay, so from here we just write the magnitude and the angle. So this is phaser form. And the second one also the magnitude and the angle. And now we can plot the phasers easily. So we take uh, uh, this uh, plot graph. This is zero angle, 90 degree, 180, 270. Okay, so first of all, plot minus 60. From here, we go down to the negative side and at minus 60, we plot V1. And then V2 is minus 30, so we plot it at minus 30. The, the magnitude of the line uh, should be roughly corresponding to the value. So this is 45 and this is 50. Accordingly, we have drawn. And now from here, you can see that the difference between the two is 30 degree, which we have already determined. But this is easy to find. And one point, if you keep in mind, that to find whether signal is leading or lagging, we go anti-clockwise or positive angle. So we go from here all the way, all the way, and between these two, now you can see this is leading and this one is lagging. That means we can, we get the same result that V1 lags V2. Okay, let's go to the uh, next question. This has three parts, part A, B, and C. We'll deal one, uh, one at a time. So let's take the first part. You can see here also we have a cosine and sine, so we have to convert the sine signal into cosine. Now this is already in the cosine form, VTIT, and we just write the phasor form, magnitude and angle. Then the second signal, we convert this into cosine by subtracting minus 90. So this will be cosine 40, 50, minus 90. This solving will give us 4, 
uh, cos 40 minus 40 and now we can write it in phasor form and so it is four angle minus 40 and now we can easily plot these into uh, phasor form so you can see this minus 60 so this we have plot from zero going to the negative side minus 60 and the other one is uh, minus 40 and again if you find the value or the difference between the two uh, you can see from minus 40 to minus 60 it is 20 degree and one more thing in this case now he's asking to find out which one leads or which one is ahead so if we go from here you can see that i is ahead of v that means i is leading and so we can say that i or i t leads v t by 20 degree uh, part b the only difference is that we have a negative sign here we will have to take care of that this one goes to phasor straight away no problem the second one is negative sign and we have discussed earlier also that negative sign can be represented by adding plus 180 or minus 180 with the angle so let's add plus 180 so by adding plus 180 the negative sign goes and from here we can write it into phasor form so the magnitude and the angle and we plot both of them now this one is v1 is 10 degrees and this is 180 degree and the difference between the two you can see uh, is 170 degree from 1 and uh, 10 to 180 and going clockwise we can see this one is ahead that means v2 is leading so v2 leads v1 by 170 degree now a question might come into your mind what if we had taken minus uh, 180 so let's see what will happen if you take minus 180 for the negative sign so this minus 180 and we can take phasor same thing only the sign changes and we can plot it this is 10 and this is minus 180 so we go this way minus 180 and plot and you can see these two are the same signal basically same location same position and to find leading and lagging we go to the positive direction or the anti-clockwise direction and we can see that v2 is leading uh, uh, v1 so same answer v2 leads v1 by 170 and finally we have this signal which is combination of two signals xt and yt is uh, in simple cosine form so first xt we convert this into cosine form they have to be in the same form for adding so this converted into cosine form by subtracting minus 90 Writing into phasor, this will be 13 angle 0 and this will be 5 angle minus 90. So this we got in phasor form and I'm sure you might have learned already uh, the real axis and imaginary axis. Uh, if we, from real axis, we go 90 degree positive, we come onto the imaginary axis and this is represented by J. If you go towards the negative side, so minus 90 degree brings us to minus J. So we can replace this minus 90 by minus J. And so it will be 13 minus J5. Now this is in rectangular form. I hope you have learned by now uh, the polar and rectangular form. Uh, let me show you what we need to do from here. We need to find its magnitude and angle. So take your calculator and very simple you just write this is in rectangular form we have to convert into polar we go to shift 
दिस इज पोलर बटन तो पोलर थर्टीन शिफ्ट कॉमा माइनस फाइव माइनस फाइव ब्रैकेट क्लोज इक्वल साइन तो दिस इज द मैग्नीट्यूड थर्टीन पॉइंट नाइन टू एंड द एंगल इज माइनस ट्वेंटी वन x we have found in uh, phasor form and now y will also write it in phasor form as so magnitude and angle and then we'll plot them so minus 21 and the other one is minus 11 and again going positive this way you can see that the blue line is ahead that means blue line is leading that means y is leading and the difference between the two If you calculate twenty one point four minus eleven point eight, it will be about nine degrees. So the difference is nine point two four degrees, and blue or Y is leading. Y leads X T uh, by so many degrees. I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.